शॉर्ट टाइम ब्रेकिंग करंट शॉर्ट टाइम विथ स्टैंड करंट एंड रेटेड पीक विथ स्टैंड करंट आर द थ्री मोस्ट क्रूशियल करंट पैरामीटर्स ऑफ एनी ऑफ द स्विच गियर and in this video we are going to talk about these three parameters now this is very very important parameters and where most of the people also get confused but by the end of this video you will have complete clarity on all these three parameters without any confusion and for that make sure you watch the video till the end so let us first start with uh, the most important parameter the short time breaking current now as the name suggests this is the parameter which talks about the capability of the switch gear for breaking a current now what type of current there are two types of current one is the normal current which flows through the system normally and for which the switch gear is designed to carry it continuously the second type of current is the current which is occurred due to abnormal situations like for example fault short circuit now when the fault occurs then current goes to a very high value and breaking capacity basically talks about breaking the fault currents so if you see the name it says short time breaking current so when we say short time it means that we are talking about the abnormal condition which remains in the system for a short time and not continuously rated continuous current is a different parameter but when we say short time breaking current we are talking about breaking the current when there is a fault in the system when there is abnormal condition in the system so that is the meaning of short time breaking current now if you look at the proper definition of that which is given by the iec standard it says it is the ability of switching devices to break the fault current safely and without any excessive arcing now definition is very clear it says it is the ability of switching devices now not all the switch gears are switching devices please remember that switching devices you can take example of circuit breaker current transformer voltage transformer or power transformer are the example of non switching devices so for sure this particular parameter will not be applicable for those we are talking about only those devices only those switch gear which has the capacity to break okay now breaking capacities can be different breaking capacity can be the normal breaking capacity and one is the abnormal breaking capacity circuit breaker is one of the device which has capabilities of both if you talk about disconnector disconnector do not have any capabilities of breaking any sort of current okay so that is a switching device but uh, it it will not have the short time breaking current capacity only circuit breaker will have the short time breaking current capacity so the definition clearly says it is the ability of switching devices to break the fault current safely and without any excessive arcing so only applicable for the switching devices and also one important thing that we need to remember here is that when we say short time breaking current we do not mean the current that will flow in the system continuously there has to be some time limitation for that and generally the time limitation that we follow is 1 second or 3 second so if you see the rating of that so let me show you one example here you can see it will be mentioned it like this 40 kilo ampere for 3 second this means that the switching devices that i have example circuit breaker is capable of breaking the fault current up to 40 kilo ampere within 3 seconds now for sure circuit breaker will break the current uh, very very quickly in few milliseconds but to be on the safer side we assign the rating of 1 uh, second or 3 seconds so this is how uh, the representation will be done for switching devices what it means the first thing indicates the current that my circuit breaker is capable of breaking which is 40 kilo ampere and within how much time that indicated by this uh, time that we have given here which is 3 seconds so very very important what you have to remember is this is only limited to the switching devices that we have and not all the switch gear so for example you have uh, the complete substation here and not all the switch gear that you are using here so we are using lightning arrestor capacitive voltage transformer current transformer disconnector circuit breaker uh, again a disconnector transformer and a power transformer now not all the devices will have the short time breaking current capacity only the breaking devices or the switching devices will have the short time breaking current capacities which is the circuit breaker which i have highlighted here 
so only those parameter those devices will have this particular parameter if you talk about current transformer current transformer will not have short time breaking capacities because they are not meant for that right so that is the short time breaking current capacity it is very very important when we talk about the switching devices like circuit breaker now moving on the next parameter that we have is the short time withstand current capacity now this is the parameter where most of the people get confused they get confused between the breaking capacity and the withstand capacity now as the name suggests it we are talking about only the withstand capability right we are not talking about any sort of breaking we are only talking about whether my switch gear is capable of withstanding the fault current that is coming into the system so again uh, the wording says short time withstand capacity the short time means uh, it is the fault current it is the abnormal situation when the current goes to a very high value so for sure my circuit breaker will break that current but at least for certain amount of time till my breaker is working all my other devices should be able to carry the fault current otherwise uh, my devices will fail right and that capability is defined by the short time withstand current let us have a look at the proper definition given by the iec standard so the iec says it is the maximum fault current that the switch gear can withstand for a specified time without getting damaged definition is very clear and very simple it says it is the capability of my switch gear to withstand the fault current for a specified amount of time again we are not talking about the continuous current carrying capacity of course no switch gear is designed to carry the fault current continuously there has to be some limitation again that limitation is limit uh, you can say 1 second or 3 seconds which is the standard values followed throughout the industry and the switch gear should be able to carry that current for a specified time let's say for 3 second without getting damaged so when i specify the rating as 40 kilo ampere for 3 second that means i am confirming my switch gear is capable of carrying 40 kilo amperes up to 3 seconds and till that time my switch gear will not be damaged but if it goes beyond that then i am not sure so how do we prove this of course by conducting the different type test that we have now if you are interested in knowing what is type test what is routine test i have a dedicated video on that i'll provide link for that down in the description you can go and check it out after this video so all these things must be proved using the type test so please clear these things when we say short time withstand current we are only talking about the withstand capability of my switch gear we are not talking about any sort of breaking and the short time withstand current is applicable to all the switch gears that we are using so we have a substation now when fault occurs fault will not only go to the circuit breaker right the fault current can flow through the each and every equipment each and every device that we have in the substation so certainly all my devices all my switch gear should have this capability else if if you imagine the situation let's say only my circuit breaker is capable of carrying the current rest of the switch gears are not so by the time my circuit breaker opens the current opens the fault all the other devices will be damaged because they don't have the capacities and do we want this for sure we don't want this so that's the reason why the short time withstand current capability will be applicable for each and every switch gear that we use in the substation or any other devices including the transformer so that is the difference when we say short time breaking capacity we are talking about the breaking current opening of the contacts when we talk about withstand current we are only talking about the current carrying capacity of my devices not the breaking there is a clear difference between these two now moving on to the third parameter that is rated peak withstand current again here also a lot of people get confused now what happens is let's say there is a fault in the system existing fault and circuit breaker has opened but there could be a situation where the circuit breaker needs to be closed in the existing fault condition just to give you one example of uh, uh, the situation is the auto reclosing duty now we have auto reclosures in the system which uh, will give command for breaker to trip uh, or close in the existing fault condition as well now what is this auto reclosing duty again i have talked about that in a dedicated video i'll provide a link for it down in the description you can go and check it out so since most of the faults in the system are transient in nature it makes very very sense to close the breaker automatically but not necessary the fault is cleared in that scenario so in that case when the breaker closes in the existing fault 
the first peak or the first few peaks of the current goes to a very high value it it can go beyond the fault current and that current is what we call as the peak current and of course my switch gear should be able to withstand that current and that capability is defined by this parameter that is rated peak withstand current let us have a look at the proper definition given by the iec so iec says this is the maximum peak value of current that switch gear can withstand without the damage so as i mentioned if the circuit breaker closes in the existing fault the first few cycles or the first loop of the current is very high let me show you the um, waveform for that so you can see on the left hand side here my circuit breaker has closed in the existing fault and you see the first positive cycle or the first positive loop is very high and this is what we call as the making current or the peak withstand current of course when such situation occurs my devices my switch gear my equipment should be able to withstand this current now this remains in the system for a very very short time even lesser than the fault current and that's why we we say it's peak remains for maybe just for one simple loop for few microseconds and then it will go down it will become the normal but for sure my switch gear should be able to carry that current for a limited amount of time so that there won't be any damage again to prove this we have to conduct the type test on the switch gear and the iec says uh, based on the practices and based on the experience it is noticed that uh, this current do not go beyond a certain limit so if the system is operating at 50 hertz then the peak withstand current is 2.5 times the rated short time current if it is 60 hertz then it is 2.6 times the short time current so just to give you an example if the short time current is 40 kilo ampere then the peak withstand current would be 100 kilo ampere my switch gear should be able to carry this for a limited amount of time now the limited amount of time is not specified by the iec because it is very very short only only remains maybe for one half cycle that's it but of course my switch gear should be able to carry that again this rating is not limited to circuit breaker this has to be there for all the switch gear all the other devices that i am going to connect in my substation because this type of situation can occur and of course my switch gear should be able to withstand that so that is rated peak withstand current it only occurs when circuit breaker closes in the existing fault condition i hope after watching this video you have got the clarity on what is the rated breaking capacity what is the rated withstand capacity short time withstand capacity and what is the rated peak withstand current it is very very crucial that you understand the difference between these three because these three are not the same parameters and not applicable for all the switch gears so i hope this video has helped you in clearing the confusion that you had previously if you found the video helpful then do like the video and do share it with the people you think might be interested in knowing thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning